Hello everyone. Well, today at DrupalFreelanceCoders.com, I will be showing you how to install the IMC module. Now, you might be asking, what is the purpose of the IMC module? Now, the IMC module helps us to upload images um, on our HTML editor. Now, I've already installed the CK editor, which gives me a beautiful um, editor with a lot of options like form to format the text like um, making it bold, italics, underline, adding tables, paragraph, aligning it, etc. But we don't have an option to upload an image um, from our PC locally. Uh, we, what we have is a URL, but we don't have anything which helps us to upload an image from, from, from our server. So this is uh, where IMCE comes in. Once we install the IMCE, we have the option to upload the image. Now for that, we need to go to the Drupal.org website and go to modules and search for the IMC module. Once we get the module, we need to download the zip version as per the Drupal installation we have or a Drupal version we have. Since I have Drupal 7, I will download the zip version of Drupal 7. I've already downloaded it here to save time, which is in the modules folder, which is c colon slash exam slash htdoc slash drupal2, which is my website folder slash uh, sites slash all slash modules. Uh, please note that all contributed modules have to be installed in the modules folder, which is located in the sites folder and not the original modules folder right inside the website folder, which is a drupal2. Now, going back to our sites folder and modules, sites all modules, <coughs> we have the IMC folder, a zip folder here and I've already extracted it. So once uh, we have moved it to the destination folder, we need to enable the module. So we'll go back to our modules page. As we scroll below, the IMC will be located down below. So I click on this and save it. So IMC has been saved. And uh, next we have to configure the permissions. So here it is chosen as um, the administrator. Um, as per my requirement, you can also choose authenticated user for the authenticated users of your site but I will leave this as it is then go back and configure the IMCE further click on the configure button in the modules page so I will edit the user one profile and uh, the settings look good to me so I will leave the default configuration as it is then for the administrator account I have to choose the profile user 1 or else mm, even users can add images to the website so to restrict the permissions I will choose the administrator and we can further configure it for the authenticated user too <coughs> but since I don't require it now I'll not change it but you need to do this if you want your users to um, add images and stuff so let me save the configuration <coughs> so once the configuration for the IMC is done we need to do one more change in the CK editor so for that we need to go back to modules and configure the CK editor in modules. So we go back to CK editor and configure this. Here we need to edit the advanced profile since we'll be using that. So here we need to uh, configure the file browser settings for the IMCE to work. So the file browser type is uh, set to none. I will choose it as IMCE. 
file browser type image dialog window will be IMCE again and for the flash dialog window it will be IMCE again so let me save this now let me add content now and add an article so uh, let me go to the image uploader button now if I choose this I have this new button called browse server which was not existing previously so this is where we can upload the file this is where IMC comes in and this is uh, this is the option which it gives us to upload an image so now, so now we click on this and uh, I have to click on the button upload button here and I can choose a file I can choose a file um, from my PC I can choose uh, in what size I want it suppose I want it in small size and click on upload right I have the uh, image uploaded here then I, I need to say insert file and um, here I, there are options like width um, height which you can change the border if you want space where you want it uh, like if you need some space besides the border so if I give us five five and border if I select as one then say ok so let me add this article now saying test uh, test and add some content on home so let me just add it here mm, I can also um, align it uh, further by right clicking and going to image properties and if I say left align it will look like this now let me just save this article Now if we go back to our home page we will see that uh, the article is published but we don't have an image here. The reason is uh, because uh, here the HTML tags has been limited. So if we go back to modules and go to CK editor and go to configure and click on edit and go to security here limit it, it has been chosen to limit allowed HTML tags this is the reason our image is not appearing so for that we have to modify the uh, HTML tags and include an additional uh, tag for filtered HTML which is IMG for that we need to go to content authoring go to text formats and go to filtered HTML now in filtered HTML if we uh, if when we go sorry when we go to mm, the text format and click on filtered HTML we will see the limit allowed HTML tags and here we have we need to include the IMG tag so once we do this and save the configuration and go back to our home page we will see the image here so that that is what we need to do we need to configure the HTML tags and add an extra IMG tag over there so once we um, upload any image it will show on our article or our, or our basic page so with this we come to the end of this tutorial hope this video has helped you and please do keep visiting us for more updates and videos thank you